Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Christina Dudowitz here. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and watching this video. Today we are talking about hair care. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm currently trying to grow my hair out because I'm getting married this year and I want longer hair because I want that long hairstyle. Now I need to tell you a quick little story. When we moved to Montana from Colorado, like back in early, no, late October, I had not gotten a haircut a few months before that and so being here now i noticed my hair had a ton of split ends it was the worst it's ever been because when i was working in news i would consistently get my hair cut because we had to look great on tv and we had to have that good hair so i found myself at work here uh just picking through my split ends and i knew that was a good so i made an appointment got a haircut uh, not too long ago. So now I'm trying to do my best to make sure I protect the ends of my hair and not get those split ends again because I scheduled my next haircut slash toner, not color, just toner to bring the color down on my hair right now. And I think I heard you should get your hair cut every six to eight weeks. So with mine being a little more than eight weeks, I thought I could use some extra TLC. So that's why we're talking about my favorite hair care products. Some of them are old products that I've been using for a really long time and some are new. So so let's get into it. Okay, so the first product I wanna talk about is something I've been using for years. It's from Chi. If you know me, you know I love Chi hair care products. And I'm talking about the Iron Guard spray. This is something I use every time before I blow dry my hair or before I style my hair with heat tools. So every time I'm close to running out, I make a mental note or I write it on my phone in my note app to get a new bottle because I feel like you can actually smell a difference. And I've talked about this on YouTube before when I was curling my hair and I was not using a heat spray, you could just smell it burning. Whereas when you use this, you don't smell that. And so to me, that's how I know it's protecting my hair. And also just in general, like, and I don't think if I was using this that my hair would be as healthy, I think it looks healthy as it looks. So if you have not been using a heat protectant spray, I definitely, definitely highly recommend using one. If you don't wanna use this, fine, go find something else just as long as you're protecting your hair. But this one is my favorite. Another thing I like is something I don't think I've really talked about before, but it's this Chi Silk Infusion Serum. So it's just like a hair serum. And I love using this at the ends of my hair or whenever I feel like my hair needs some extra TLC, like extra, extra. So I'm gonna take off my ring because I do not wanna get any of that product on there. And I don't use too much. I'm gonna put some on right now. See, that's how much I use. Um, because if you use too much, it can make your hair look greasy. And I didn't put any on this morning, so I'm just gonna run my hands through the ends of my hair. And put some of the excess all over my hair and then another thing i like to do is because i have a ton of baby hairs i like to just kind of go like that kind of mat them down you know what i mean and that kind of brings us into the next product i like to use which is my wet hair brush so let me just brush my hair real quick so this is something I like to use after heat styling my hair. So today I did not use any heat tools, but because I'm trying to give it that extra TLC, like this is just after uh, washing my hair, blow drying my hair. So I thought, you know, I could use some of this on my ends. I also think this is really good if you have dry hair. So if you have pretty dry hair, definitely look into getting a hair serum. I really like this. I got the big bottle and this is gonna go a long way. Like I've had this for a really long time because you're only using a little product at a time. You know what I mean? So this smells great and it feels great. So back to the hairbrush. I am someone who loves brushing their hair. Like it just feels so good to me. I love that nice, smooth, clean feeling. This is also why I don't think I could ever get hair extensions because I love being able to take my fingers and literally run them through my hair. I just feel like it's just, it just feels good. And I just don't think I can achieve that with hair extensions also because, you know, the brushing, I just like to go like this. And then if I did that with hair extensions, I feel I could get caught. It's just a little too much work to try to be careful for that, I think. But I've never had them, so 
those are just my opinions the wet hairbrush is something i never actually heard about until one of my friends told me about it and said oh well i just use the wet hairbrush and it works great and i was like mm. because i was actually really in love with my old hairbrush which was just a um i think it was a goody hairbrush and it was just like a it looked like just a regular like plastic brush um and it had the same like effect so but it wasn't as there wasn't as many bristles i think it was um, a little more um sparse a little more spread out and so when i got the wet hairbrush i just thought this feels even better so i don't know if you guys are really into how a hairbrush feels or you know your opinions on that but a good hairbrush is definitely something that you need to look into because if you don't like it, you're not going to want to brush your hair. And if you don't want to brush your hair, your hair just won't be in the best condition that it could be. So I I just love it. I always am brushing my hair. And you know what's really bugging me right now is that I can't find my little mini wet hairbrush that I used to bring to work back in Colorado. So I need to find that along with pictures I would use to decorate my work area. All of that is missing. I have no idea where I put it. I'm sure I put it in a safe spot and I just hit it too well. Those are things I'm missing. So if you're looking for a really good hairbrush that doesn't tangle your hair up, works really well, doesn't pull on your hair, definitely look into the wet hairbrush. I used to have a pink one and Karma broke it or she chewed on it, yeah. And I think I sat on one of my old ones too. The last hair care product is something I had been wanting to try for years and years. And you've probably heard me talk about this on Instagram. If you're not following me there, give me a follow because I do talk about a lot of things on there first and then bring it over to YouTube. And that is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. So this is something I saw like in every what's in my shower video when I first started watching YouTube videos before there were even sponsorships available. And this just smells so good. The thing about it though is that it is pricey. It's like over $20, but it is a big little tub of it. But I normally like to get mine from Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx or anything like that. So I will have this linked to one of those stores because there is no need to pay full price because this is always available at one of those stores. So it's even cheaper. So this was always on my list to try and it just took me until a few weeks ago to actually get it and I don't know why I waited so long and I don't know if it was maybe part of me thinking well I don't have a lot of like hair concerns so I really don't need to spend the money and I don't know if it was maybe part of me thinking well I don't have a lot of like hair concerns so I really don't need to spend the money but when I noticed all my split ends I was like yep yeah, I'm buying this and I can tell you this makes a huge difference oh my gosh you know i you know sometimes i wonder what is the real difference between uh, a deep hair repair mask and just regular hair conditioner turns out there's a major difference you know i didn't go to beauty school or anything but i i noticed the difference i i know it now and i wish i didn't wait so long to try this out all you have to do once your hair is wet take a little scoop of this in your hands and just run it through your wet hair in the shower. So they recommend leaving this in your hair for up to seven minutes. It is a little hard to just kind of stay there when you've kind of done everything you've needed to do. So I tried to use this at the beginning when I first step into the shower and my hair is completely wet after I shampoo it. I just kind of let it sit up there and uh, just shave my legs or do whatever else I need to do. I knew right after using this that it was going to be very, very easy to brush my hair, no tangles at all. But what I was not expecting was that the results of this would carry on into the next day. Now, you're, yes, your hair is going to feel nice and soft for more than two days, of course. But what I mean is that when you brush your hair, there are still no tangles in day two. Even after just moving around a lot, being in the wind, like there are still no tangles. And I feel like no one really talked about that on YouTube or maybe they did and I just didn't pay attention. I don't, I feel like they never really went into too much detail with this, but the fact that your hair is tangle less for more than a day blew my mind. 
So to me, this is so worth it. So definitely click on the link for this and order it because the results are real. You get real results. And on this channel, all I talk about are real results. So if you wanted to know like, what is this hair mask actually for? I'm reading it for the first time because I actually just bought this because I knew it was a good hair mask. I knew a lot of people liked it. And so I wanted it and I knew I had hair damage. So the description on this says revitalizing hair reconstructor for dry damaged hair. And that's what I had. Now my hair isn't normally dry. Um, it can get oily if I don't wash my hair. And I like to wash my hair every day unless I'm trying to save my curls. That's just how it is. Um, that's what I like. I love clean, fresh hair. But the damage is really what I bought it for because of the split ends. So they say to use this uh, twice a week. And so that's what I've been doing. And let me tell you, the results are good. Another product I'd like to mention that I don't currently have on me is It's a 10 Hair Care. That's something that's a leave-in conditioner spray and also a heat protectant. So it can replace this. So if I do use It's a 10, I don't use this when I am styling my hair or blow drying my hair because I already have that product in. And that product really helps with um, the little baby hairs that I normally have at the top of my head. So that was something I really wasn't sure about is my It's a 10 hair conditioning spray more hair care or is it more for styling, you know? Because it can go both ways because it does protect your hair, but it's also really good for styling for my baby hairs. So it's really not a lot, you know, three hair care products plus the possible It's a 10 hair conditioning spray. I really don't think you need a lot for good hair care. I think you need a heat protection spray, hair serum to protect your ends, and then a deep hair repair mask. So these are all my hair care essentials. These are things that I don't think I can go on without. Um, and now that especially the hair repair mask because that's made a huge difference in my hair. And also because I'm not planning to, or at least I don't think I will be getting haircuts as frequently as I used to back in Colorado. As time goes on, I'll let you know how that ends up breaking out for me or if I do end up realizing, yeah, I actually do need those haircuts every six to eight weeks. You know, and also because right now I think I'm going to just keep my hair dark. I'm trying to embrace that darker hair color um, and just kind of let this grow out. That's why I'm thinking I'll, ju I'll just get a toner done on my hair and then just let that continue to grow out because I'll bring my hair darker and I don't want it to look too dark, you know? Okay, that was kind of a little hair tangent that I went on. Let's get back to the point of this video, which is just essential hair care. So if you are interested in trying any of these, I will have them all linked down below. Also check out my blog, ChristinaDewitowitz.com. That's where I post everything that I talk about on YouTube and Instagram and even TikTok and bring it all in one place so that it's all there for you as a one-stop shop resource. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, tell me what your essential hair care product is i'm sure there are a ton of hair care products that i might not have even tried or heard of so i'm always looking for tips from you guys and if you aren't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i will see you in the next video